Will a debate that has gone on for hundreds of years finally come to a close here at the Franciscan Building? The law school discussed whether the United Kingdom should have a written constitution or should it remain unwritten. Well, it's a, it's a very good question, actually. It's a rather difficult question because, in a sense, the United Kingdom does have a written constitution. All the common law decisions that have been written up over uh, a very long time in Britain, basically since Magna Carta 800 years ago, Magna Carta is written down, so it, that is a written constitution. James Dart strongly opposed the idea of having a written constitution. Why go to the trouble of drafting a written constitution when everything we, we need for a constitution is already, is already provided for? We've, we, have, we know what our rights are, so we don't necessarily need a document to uh, tell us all these things. The opposed claim that having an unwritten constitution was the same as flying a plane without a pilot, meaning that there is no driving force behind the UK's governing laws. Has worked well for also for the um, dependent territories, because if if we had a written constitution to grant independence to those countries, would have been a much heavier task than it currently is. At the moment, it can be done simply. Whereas in the U.S., had they been trying to grant Puerto Rico their independence, and it has been very difficult. With a unanimous vote, the law school have decided that the U.K. should remain an unwritten constitution. This is Leila Dean for Buckingham News.